If you're looking for a video on a specific topic, simply type in what you're looking for in my channel search bar. And if I have videos addressing that topic, it will take you right to them. What's up you guys, it's LaDonna. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, you guys, so um, the question was asked, what schools don't require the GRE? Because I get a lot of questions about the GRE and then what schools require it? Um, is it good to take the GRE? Is it hard? So that's what this video is gonna be about. It's gonna be about the 123 schools that don't require the GRE. I actually think that there may be more schools that don't require the GRE because there are some schools on PAEA's website that don't go through CASPA. So I've gone on PAEA's website and there is a list um, of 123 schools that don't require the GRE. Now, PAEA is a great resource when you're trying to just kind of tease out um, kind of uh, re requirements for PA school in general. So GRE, your GPA, uh, healthcare experience, all of that, and it takes you to the website of the school. So if you haven't already gone to that, uh, that particular website to actually kind of tease out or figure out what schools you want to apply to, be sure to go and do that because it's a great resource for it. It's also a great resource for me to answer some of these questions for you on the schools that don't require the GRE. So there are over 300 PA schools in existence, right? And 123 of them don't require the GRE. So what does that say? If you have uh, almost half of the schools that are in existence not requiring the GRE. What does that say about the GRE? It says that to me, and again, this is my opinion, okay? This is Adana's opinion. Adana, the PA student's opinion. <laughs> not Adana, somebody that is dealing with uh, admissions at a school, okay? But for me, it says that the GRE is not that serious, okay? Why am I saying that the GRE is not that serious? I'm saying it as the GRE, when you're taking it, is just a general test. It does, it has really no bearing on how well you're gonna do in PA school in terms of like the actual content or material. I think it's more so like looking at how you do under stress, looking at how you do with respect to long exams because you're gonna have to take the pants at the end of your PA schooling, which is a fairly long exam. Like what, four hours or so, maybe, I, like it's long, okay? So you're gonna have to do that. And so the GRE is kind of like a good barometer, I guess you could say, or a measure of what and how well you're gonna do on that exam. Also, uh, I feel like they use it as a weeding out tool. So, you know, it's not that serious in that hey, you're not, this doesn't necessarily dictate how well you're gonna do in PA school. However, um, if you don't do well on the GRE and you're trying to apply to a school that requires the GRE, then you're not gonna really get in because it's gonna be like, well, you didn't really do that well. So it's like, I can weed you out of the bunch, like right off the bat. Now, from my opinion, again, my opinion, on whether or not you should take the GRE or not, even though 123 schools don't require it, I say do it. Honestly, my whole thing with respect to getting into PA school and applying to PA school and trying to become a PA is just kind of broadening my appeal and being the most well-rounded candidate ever, right? I wanted to make sure that I was doing myself a disservice and limiting myself to the schools that I could apply to. So I made sure to have the majority of the prerequisites that most schools require. And then also um, I made sure that I took the GRE because I wanted to apply to schools that required the GRE and schools that didn't require the GRE. If you don't take the GRE, it's not to say, hey, like you're not gonna get into a PA school because there are a lot of developing programs that don't necessarily require the GRE or you know, like those new popping up programs that kind of just want you to show, hey, you've been a great undergraduate student. So there are a lot of those programs that don't require it, but there are programs that do, or it may not weigh as heavy on it, right? So you don't want to kind of, if there's 123 schools and there's over 300 schools, then you don't wanna alienate yourself from the 200 plus schools that require the GRE, right? Like you wanna get into PA school. So although 123 schools seems like a lot, I don't know if you're gonna be applying to all 123 of those schools, but at the same time, you wanna make sure that 
those 123 schools are schools that you actually want to go to. Yes, you just want to get in. I always say I was like, PA schools like heaven, as long as you get in, it doesn't matter if you're first or last or, you know, like where it is that you're going, like you're there. But it does matter because you want to make sure that the school that you're applying to and that you're attending actually caters to you and actually make sure that you're prepared to take your pants uh, so that you're able to be a PAC because that's what it is about. It's about being a PAC, right? You're being a PA, like who cares, right? You're like, I don't, I don't just want to be a PA. Like I want to be a certified PA, right? With all that being said, yes, there are 123 schools that don't require the GRE. Definitely do your research on those schools. If you're not, you know, you're not feeling the GRE, that's okay. It's not an easy test. Um, it's not, you know, something that most people want to do, like spend hours a day studying for this test, but beware <laughs> when you get into PA school you're going to be spending hours a day studying for your exams and trying to keep up with the material that you're being taught so I say do it okay I say do it um, that's the Donna's opinion go ahead get that in study 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 take your GRE do well on it but I will leave the list of schools that don't require it. Hopefully that answers your question. Um, if you have any other questions, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. If you have any video ideas that you want to see me do, go ahead and leave that as well. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA, and I will talk to you guys next time.